All right. When did, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Um, I always, you know, growing up in South Africa is always, you know, rugby is very big there. Yeah. So it was always, always, um, I always wanted to play rugby, but to be honest, I don't know. I've always maybe wanted to be a teacher if I didn't play rugby. So yeah, yeah luck, if luckily, luckily it worked out for me. Otherwise yeah. I probably would have been a teacher. Did you go to university for teaching or just straight to rugby? No, no I went straight to rugby. And then when I came and played in Australia for the first time, I um, started studying when I was at the Brumbies. I started studying online teaching. So oh. I, I, I stopped that a bit because um, then I went back to South Africa to play there for the Stormers. And then, you know, with the online, online classes and the eight hour difference, it was pretty hard to do that. But yeah, yeah so just... How would your oldest friend describe you? My oldest friend? Yeah, how would he describe that's you? A, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I think he would say I'm a, I'm a very good friend. I'm very loyal. Yeah. Um, I'm very outgoing. Far, uh, I like to, like to make people laugh and that sort of yeah. stuff. So, yeah, I think that, that's basically how he would describe me. What are you most proud of in your life so far? Um... That's a good question. I haven't really thought about that. Um, I don't know. Um, is, that, is that rugby or just general life? General, general life. I don't know. Yeah, gen maybe just um, the person my dad brought me up to be, like yeah. a respectful, I'm a respectful, and um, yeah, I, I believe I've got good manners and all that sort of yeah. stuff. So treat, treating older people with respect and that sort of stuff. I think that, that I'm very proud of. Okay. That's good to have uh, respect and to teammates yeah. and coaches so you don't, so you can yeah, that, have a good relationships. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly right. I mean, if you don't have respect and especially when you're growing up being a rugby player, respect for your oldest, eldest and coaches and that sort of stuff, you yeah. won't get very, you know, so yeah. it's very important. How do you handle hard times like during this period? It, it might, it, that's it's very good questions. I, um, it, it's very hard, mate. It's very hard. Like, obviously, you want to be out there playing and it takes a me me mental stroll on you and sometimes it gets hard and you, you get frustrated and you take it out on your family and your friends and which it's it's hard. But then you just have to, the people around you, the support base, family, um, your, your girlfriend, your mom, whoever it is, the, they, they really need, need to lean on them and, um, yeah, just work together because the times do get tough. But it is... It is hard, mate. It, sometimes it gets very hard. And you just maybe I just have to sit and reflect, take a break from everything, and then regroup and go from there. Yeah, with that, have your parents and, I mean, has your mum and your uh, girlfriend been helping you during this period? Yeah, my my mum unfortunately passed away last year. But oh, sorry. Yeah, my, uh, no, no, it's no, no problem, mate. No, but no, my mum was, was very, very um, supportive. So she um, helped me a lot. But yeah, like my girlfriend, my dad, my brother and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, they, yeah. they help me a lot, yeah. Sorry. No, mate. No, no, no. Don't be, please, don't be sorry. No, no, no. Please, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry at all. Was it hard moving from South Africa? And was it easier it having was, your brother there? It, it was hard. Luckily, luckily, I, when was I? I was probably about 16 when I moved here, yeah. Luckily, my, my brother was there with me and my parents moved over with me. So it was very, quite easy. Some people, you know, I think it would have been very hard if um, if it was just us two and my parents were back in South Africa and that sort of stuff, but luckily we all came over as a family. Yeah, that's good. So it made it easier. Yeah. yeah. So you could yeah. lean back on them when they came if you needed help. Exactly. Hundred percent. I think that that helped us a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You've played for the Brumbies, the Reds, and you played. Sorry, you've played for the Brumbies and the Reds in Australia. What's the difference between South African rugby and Australian rugby? Good question. I think um, South African rugby is the the players are a bit bigger and stuff, so it's a yeah. much bit more much more physical game and yeah. up front, you know, forward based and that sort of stuff. Where yeah. Australian rugby, they 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 I, I think that they are much smarter. Like yeah. um, they they yeah, so like they play quicker, they tactical, yeah. they a bit, bit better, and so yeah, that that's a difference. But I think Australian rugby is catching up to South African play like physicality yeah. and forwards games and so yeah Australia's definitely catching up in Australia do you reckon it's more of a forwards game or a backs game 
I think I think a couple couple of years ago it was more a backs game, but I think it's it's slowly starting to become a forwards game or how uh, do you say it, a, a, a basic all over. So I think Australia's catching up with the forward side of things, yeah. which, which is good. You, as you can see in Super Rugby, there's scrums and yeah. we we do, dominate and yeah, most of the Brumbies they they've got good set piece. So yeah. it's it's definitely definitely getting there. What do you reckon it's more of a forwards or a backs game in South Africa as well? Uh, forward, forwards yeah. game. Yeah, it's, it's a much more forwards game and a lot of kicking, you know. So yeah. where, the, where, where the fly-off directs the game so the forwards can always be yeah. on the front foot. And that's, that's how you beat South African teams. You know, you, if, you, if you take away their forwards and their forwards keep going back. And yeah, they're not used to that. So that's how you beat yeah. them. But also with the South Africans, I've also been seeing they also they do kick a lot with drop goals early in games. I've been seeing that quite a lot from the South Africans, just to get three points yeah, up on there early. That's a, that, that's exactly how they play, you know. So to get get that for that get that little bit of momentum early early in, and so that the forwards can get into the game. So it's just basically yeah, getting momentum early, and that's what they do well. So if as soon as you, you can see all the players, all the all the guys kicking in South Africa, they can kick 50, 60 metres out. Yeah. So um, I think that's one thing we lack in Australia, the kicking yeah, game. Definitely. So, yeah. So any, anything 60 metres inside, you give a penalty away, the chances they kick it over is... And then that's how they slowly creep into the game. You yeah. Because so. they try and put, bring kicking into the game more than scoring tries. They just go... What's that? They try and bring in kicking more than scoring tries. 100%. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, no, so... Yeah. How has it been playing for the Reds through your time here? It's, it's been good. I've played three seasons now, and it's been yeah. good, mate. We've had... Um, I've made, first of all, I've made probably some of my best friends at the Reds. Yeah. And um, we've had a couple of hard years. Um, yeah. But I, I think if, if it wasn't for this COVID thing this year, we would have definitely been... Um, we, we just started playing well, and... Every, I mean, every game, every game, we've led half time. You know what I mean? So um, yeah. we just, and I think in the next few years, the Reds are going to do very, very well. Yeah, because I'm a Reds supporter, but uh, with yeah. that, uh, the Reds, have, I feel like they've been playing more aggressive and a better style of football this year than last year. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think it's because all the younger boys they're also getting more experience now and. Um, I mean, I mean, we've beaten in the past couple of years. We've beaten New Zealand teams, South African teams. Yeah. So we 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 have we pride ourselves on being physical. Yeah. And we know that's where you win the game. So and I think uh, uh, Brad Thorne, our coach, has uh, installed that in us from a couple yeah. of years ago. So the younger guys are also more experienced now, which is good. Because you can also see that coming through from the style of rugby you guys are playing, especially this yeah, year. No, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, geez, we probably had the start at the hardest start of the tour. But yeah. no, we definitely, um, I mean, we played the Crusaders. That was a good Rumbies. game. I remember watching that. Yeah, it was a good yeah game. we should have won that one, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's good, man. I, but I, I, like I said, I think in the next year or so, it's going to be a very, um, the Reds are going to do very, very well. Yeah. How are you keeping yourself busy and fit during this time? Excuse me? How are you keeping yourself busy and fit during this time? Um, we try and um, train a bit, start start in the yeah. morning, train a bit. So you, uh, but other than that, you can't really do anything. We just sit and maybe I've watched a bit of series, you know, being lazy, eat, eat a bit of food, which I shouldn't do, but you know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. It. So, yeah. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of players are doing like going down to the, the Ballymore. Cause yeah. Oh, I know Bryce Hegarty and James O'Connor's been going down there and kicking goals yeah. with uh, your kicking co with their kicking coaches. Dave Al Alfred, Al yeah. Alfred, yeah, yeah. So no, yeah, they have been, but um, it's it's hard for the boys because um, the, the obviously the social distancing and that sort of stuff yeah. is hard. So I haven't seen I haven't seen the boys in probably a month, month and a half. Yeah, Super Rugby's so, been cancelled for about a month now, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. about a, yeah, but. Uh, month they say I don't know they there's talks about it's gonna start back maybe end of July. Yeah. So I'm not sure I'm not sure what exactly what sort of um yeah uh, sort of type of games is gonna be but we'll see. Are the Reds like putting out like uh what is it uh like the like 
sorry. Um, program, no, good. Sorry, programs on how to stay. Yeah. Fit. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we get sent programs every every week that we have to do. Yeah. But it's, some of it is it's very hard to do because obviously you don't have a gym at home and that's also yeah. you try and make the best of it. So um, yeah, the, the running stuff like I I run a bit yeah in Sunshine Coast. I live in yeah. Sunny Coast. Oh, yeah. On the field, yeah. So it's it's hard with the rain and stuff, like heavy. And you know, yeah. us, us heavy boys, us heavy boys, we don't run easy. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's the worst teammate to room with, and why? Oh, Nala. <laughs> yeah. Tom and Phil. Yeah. He's just he snores nonstop. <laughs> it's it's very hard to sleep. Very very good, very good friend of mine. But he's very hard to sleep. But he is like very the noise the noise that comes out there is ridiculous. <laughs> What's the best word that describes you right now? Describe me? Yeah, best word to describe you. Um, happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. Why? Um, I don't know. It's just small things. Small things. Um, yeah. In, in my life is going well at the moment. Yeah. So, and that those small things tend to, you get get all the small things right, and yeah. then they tend to become bigger and, you know, get 10, 10 small things right, and it's a massive thing. So that's, yeah. yeah. It's hard, it's hard, yeah. but yeah. Has it been hard playing without your brother this year? It is, it has been. But um, I thought I would have played against him this year, but I don't think I would, but it, it, it yeah. has been hard. Yeah. It has been hard, but... Um, you just have to move on with it. We've got a good relationship, so we talk every day. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's we knew it's going to happen sometime, you know. Yeah. If you did play against him, would you dig into him, or would you? I I would I will dig into him. Yeah. In a, yeah, he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, 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 we'll have a good, we'll have a good go with each other. Yeah. What advice would you give to a twelve-year-old boy to a twelve-year-old kid today? Rugby wise. Yeah. Never, oh, never stop in life. Okay, first rug, rugby wise, yeah. never, never, never stop enjoying it. Yeah. Never, never do it. If as soon as you stop enjoying it, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Right. So maybe, especially when you go older in your career and you want to become a professional player, always yeah. remember to enjoy it. Yeah. And and in life, in life, um, just when times get when times get hard, mate, just keep standing up. Yeah. Just keep, you know what I mean? I mean, there's times that, that you're going to doubt yourself and all that sort of stuff. I've yeah. been there. I've been there heaps of, heaps of my life. I yeah. just have to force yourself to get up even though it's hard and, yeah. you know, get the, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, that's all I've prepared, but um, <laughs> thanks for coming on today. No worries, brother. And I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do for you with uh, some other boys. Thanks. Right. Keep talking to me, Maxi, and I'll, I'll keep in contact with you. Thanks, JP. No worries, brother. Have a good one, eh? Thank you. Cheers, mate. See Bye. You. Bye.